Hello guys and welcome to our brand new video. Today I'm here with Mahoka Koko no Yuto Se episode number 30. And this is the final episode of this season. Okay, so the previous episode we had um, Miyuki in the Mirage Bat and she was using the latest uh, TAD, you know, the thing that uh, Tasuya made for her. Uh, it was a new technology which helped people to fly. And obviously that was a bit too advantageous for her comparing it to all the other different opponents because they have to jump around whereas she can just fly, you know. So yeah, that was like a bit too advantageous for her. But then after that match, now that we're in the final, uh, we got to know that the technology has been uh, like, you know, uh, given to everyone. You know, now everyone can use it in this you know in this match so i'm guessing everyone will be flying in the final you know match and id as well so it's going to be interesting to see how she like, you know wins this and you know this will probably be a tough fight but let's see let's wait and see about how this goes and also the no heads dragon are also there <laughs> up to no good as well so let's see what they do and you know like all that stuff so let's see what this episode brings and this is the final episode of this season so yeah let's see how this wraps it up so without further ado let's get started this is episode number 13 of mahoka koko no yutose okay so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go mirage bat final okay Crown Jewel. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my God. This guy is completely... I really, I feel weird seeing Crimson Prince like this. I really feel weird about this. Like he never was a pers had a personality like this in Retos. Yeah, did they not show us that? I don't know. Like, he feels like I don't know how. Oh my god, <laughs> how to feel about this? <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, the mom and dad, I think. Parents. Hmm, mom and dad. <clears> hmm. <throat> All right. Okay. Okay, yeah, everyone's going to fly like the opening itself kind of shows or maybe not Okay, let's let's wait for it 
because I, I remember I actually uh, feeling concerned that uh, this is like a new technology so will we be able to control it or stuff so maybe she won't use it I don't know let's see but I don't think she uh, she'll probably will okay let's let's wait for it I can't lose all right here we go and there you go everyone's flying <laughs> All right, IDs are flying as well. Okay, everyone's using it. <laughs> the, the audience are like, what? <laughs> yeah, obviously. Yeah, like accidents might happen. Oh, I remember. Oh yeah, they have some kind of a safety mechanism or something. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I is also struggling. Yeah. Okay, this is a safety mechanism, yeah. Activates when the remaining sign all oh, right. Yep. Excessive overuse. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, three of them, okay. Another one is left. See, she had a lot more practice. Hmm. Oh, they're here. Well, at least the mom is here. Yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> Oh, she's using both of both of them and that's kind of uh, intelligent in my opinion like you know she's kind of using it as a foothold in the middle so, so like to boost the flying speed yeah like muke can do that as or maybe okay she's all right yeah yeah the safety mechanism might anytime trip yeah hmm, weird way yeah Okay, there you go. Well, obviously, like, yeah, it's kind of impossible to win at that stage. Like, Muki had... Oh, there's an interval. Oh, I thought it was over. Oh, okay. I thought it was over. Like, I was saying that Muki got a head start a lot. No, earlier so he was able to fly so properly from the beginning yeah
Hmm. Oh, she wants to keep using it. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, she is here. She's in the final. So why, like, why give up midway? You know, just because she won. Whoa! <laughs> Damn! Ooh. Hmm. Oh my god, the last one! <laughs> Literally. Okay. Night. Oh my god, here we go. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> well, that's it. That's the end of the No Head Dragons. Oh boy. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, there you go. Oh boy, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, but you are planning to. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it. That's the end. <laughs> okay these i'm guessing these are all the things that we're going to get to know i know that we're going to get a prequel to this um you know the prequel to death say as as a movie or an anime i don't know but 
something like that hmm. yeah true Using my jump, yeah, okay. Sure. Whoa, what the? <laughs> is this? Oh, this is. <laughs> so, yeah. Soka. <laughs> okay. Onisama is back. There you go. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> oh, yeah, this. Oh yeah, I remember, like they used, they were... Yeah. She realized that. Nah, she's not talking about that. I, as far as I can remember, she, she kind of. Okay, I'll talk about it. Hmm. What? What type of a, what? I I also didn't know that. Yeah, like how did that become this? Like the whole bloom and weed. That's a really weird reason. Um, no, it's, it's, it's just an emblem. You can just add a batch or something. Oh my God, what type of a reason is this?
Yeah, if she realizes this, this, this was the reason, she's gonna flip out. What? Like, oh my god. Wait, what? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, this is when the... No. As I can remember here, like, people like, Michiko was also here, wasn't he? Oh, okay, this one. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> All right, that's it. Okay. <sighs> okay, one thing I was really surprised about is the reason for the whole bloom and weed thing. Like, what type of a reason is that? Like, because like <laughs> oh my god it was basically because they did not have enough uniform like or, or some, what did they say like they did not wasn't able to complete the embroidery or whatever and since there were a lot of students getting in enrolling they kept it that way and it became like a whole thing of um, like you know elitism like you know because those students were students who would be taught the uh, i think the magic kind of said that like you know from the second year that's why the other students who had the emblem on it they started like you know the whole elitism thing like yeah i'm better than you because i'm being taught uh, you know like the intricate stuff from the beginning and you are not but the reason for that was basically they were extra students who were enrolled later on and probably they were a little bit you know weaker than the other students wow oh my god oh there's still something left all right oh yeah this wait she she went to america this Wait, they did not show us the next section? Yo, what? Wait, 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 wait. They skipped the entire next portion? Like, this happened in season 2, didn't this? Yeah. Oh. 
Oh boy. Okay, I'm I'm guessing they Okay, I'm guessing they skipped the next portion. Like the, the, the portion they showed us in this Yuto say was the first 12 or something episodes. The next few episodes I they completely skipped that as far as I can see. Most probably because that was mainly focused on Tatsuya. You know the next uh, arc. It was fully like almost fully focused on him. So I so that's why probably they did not show that they completely skipped that that's because there's nothing else to show except for Tatsuya. And since this is like a show which is like a spin-off, they skip that portion, I'm guessing. And yeah, like I don't know, like that they could have just like showed us a little, like one or two. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, most probably because of that. They're only showing us the mm, Yeah, they're only showing us the portions where meets um Miyuki and the girls have more um screen time and <clears throat> so yeah that's why you know like i forgot the blonde uh, girl's name um what was her name i forgot it completely she comes uh, which is something that happens in the second season okay so way they ended this i'm not sure if they're going to continue this in the next season or this will just be like this it'll probably uh, be based on the sales i'm guessing of this this anime it was a decent anime nothing much to talk about uh, i feel i really enjoyed the first portion of this you know uh the first portion the first few uh, the first arc of the whole blanche arc i, I quite enjoyed myself in, in that but the next part of the whole nine school competition i feel as if they kind of dragged it a little bit i'm not sure uh if it's just me but i feel as if they really kind of dragged it a little more and they, they could have just ended this in three or four episodes whereas they kind of dragged it to like four five five six episodes so that's why like i really enjoyed the first portion the next portion was okay kind of okay i felt it a little bit more dragged but yeah it was fine and okay all right so this episode here um this was a good episode of good finale where we see like you know like uh Miyuki and Ivy them having their final match and Ivy finding out a new way to actually use the flying technology <clears throat> and that's what this is about technology is like you know it's supposed to be used like this like you know find new ways of using them she decided to mix the flying magic with her jump magic which made her even faster now i wonder what would have happened if she had found this out or she realized in using this technique from the beginning it probably would have been a more what can i say tough fight for miyuki if because miyuki really got a head start she just started flying around and in, in, within the first no, the first uh what do you call it the first round the first um before the interval the first half she was able to gain such a high uh you know score that <laughs> that they basically said that yeah you can just like you know like sit down give up and still you're going to win like, he, she was so much ahead that means so yeah so it was like obviously like it was a match won by Miyuki from the beginning so i wonder what would have happened if i actually realized that yeah this is a good way to use the flying magic where i can just increase my acceleration by using the jump magic and <clears throat> since this the whole like you know the jump magic was like a speciality of her she was able to do it even better and kind of like you know keep the pace with Miyuki like in the end we can kind of see Miyuki the, the way the fast Miyuki was going very fast from the beginning so in the end we can see that she kind of keeps up with that I kind of keeps up with that with the newfound technique where she basically kind of uses footholds in the middle of the air using the jump technique and boosts her you know ac acceleration so yeah like the the last half was kind of very what can i say like you know close the fight 
but since Miyuki already had such a big advantage, he was already ahead by so many points that yeah, she she definitely was you know successful in easily winning. Okay. <clears throat> Right, what else? Okay, that was the match and obviously we knew like <laughs> no heads dragon. We like you know there were the already I forgot the, that girl's name, the, the lady who is with Tasuya when Tasuya uh, uses his uh what was the name of the demon fire? Yeah, demon fire. He was, was using that technique on the no heads dragon members, the lady who was behind her him. She like she she was already here, so like you know like I I kind of like, like obviously like we knew that nothing was going to happen, like the no heads dragon would be won't be able to succeed in their plans, but yeah we kind of saw a glimpse of Tatsuya's strength again, you know like he just basically annihilated the whole <laughs> the whole uh, gang without even moving from his place. He was just standing in one place and just like annihilated them. <laughs> without even moving a single step so yeah okay that was that and now one thing i i said that like, you know, i kind of mentioned this before but crimson prince seems really weird in this anime i don't know why I, and I, I don't know if his personality is supposed to be like this they never showed it either i did not I, I yeah I, I don't think they kind of showed it like this in retto say like in this extent like the way he kind of i don't know like behaves in in this show in yuto say something that i never would have expected from crimson prince so i'm not sure if that was like deliberate like some kind of like a you know like <laughs> done for comedic effect or if that really is her his personality but yeah, he was definitely not like this in Red Tose. And I kind of feel weird about that because he, you know, in, in Red Tose, he doesn't really feel like a guy who would, like, you know, who was, who was like this, like this type of a, <laughs> I don't know what to actually call it. Um, clingy? I'm not sure how to actually like refer to this, but she never had this type of a, like, you no. Know, <laughs> personality so yeah i'm not sure but <laughs> it was kind of weird but yeah still like but here and one thing i i have i can say the, like you know as a fact that in yuto say he, he he looks a lot friendlier like in reto say he he looked a lot e not evil but he looked a lot more antagonistic you know so here he seems a lot more friendlier a lot more goofy so <laughs> That 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 probably makes him a lot more approachable and you know, yeah, friendly as a character. So I guess that's one thing, <laughs> which is better. So yeah, but anyways, that was that. And okay, one thing I can't remember, but I feel as if uh, the girl uh, with Taigusa, the yellow-haired girl, not yellow, orange-haired girl. Yeah, orange-haired girl. The short girl. As far as I can remember, she probably suspected something, like you know, being Taurus Silver being Tasuya. As far as I remember, in Reto Sen, you know, like, yeah, I think I think so. It, it's kind of coming back to me. Like, she probably she was kind of suspicious of Tasuya. She kind of thought that maybe Tasuya is Taurus Silver, you know, and she kind of suspected that. So here seeing her suddenly like you know saying that Tasuya is so strong so why is he in you know, course 2 all that stuff kind of reminded me of that incident and yeah she should probably be the closest one to actually get to the truth you know that Tasuya is the Taurus Silver you know like so <laughs> yeah it's just something that I thought and the whole thing of Okay, um, this section really, I was not expecting something like that, like, obviously when, um, when Saigusa was saying that Tasue, yeah, you know, like, Tasue is, like, very different from all the students here, 
like no one can hold a candle to him and she says that the difference between course one and course two is the practical skills test scores and then she says is this uniform to blame and here we go like the biggest bomb drops here she says that originally it was just a matter of not getting the embroidery done in time when the student's body expanded like what this was the biggest shock in this episode i'm like what the hell like for this reason all these things are happening the whole discrimination started because of just not getting the embroidery done in time oh my god <laughs> and they're like what and Sagasa says you you didn't know um to increase the number of magicians the school recruited more students in the middle of the school year that's how course two students came to be so basically course two students were extra two students that they just took in because they wanted more students but there were a shortage of instructors so the additional students ended up staying studying only theory with practical skills having to wait until the new school year so not only did they <laughs> what type of incompetent like you know higher ups like they so what they did is they basically decided that okay you know what we have we don't have enough students let's just like you know bring more students in and then after getting the students in they were like wait a minute i think we don't have enough lecturers for this oh uh, i guess the practical skills will have to wait you know for the new students they'll only learn theory and that's why course two what and, and obviously like that obviously like it, it seems like a very simple harmless reason but because of this it, but then someone messed up the order for new uniforms and this course to students uniform had no emblem so wow and not only that not only that they, they also messed up the uniforms like <laughs> i don't know i have no idea how this happened on top of that they never did remedy the instructor shortage they never did remedy the instructor's shortage oh wow so the misunderstanding was confirmed or should i say ignored and that's why we have a current course one and course two system and she's saying like now you think it would be a more of a hassle to make two types of uniform right yeah and what she says like so this is all the intense hostilities thanks to a stupid reason like that and like not only this, like not only that so that that means obviously there will be few like you know like the students there obviously like a lot of students are from higher like you know like higher up uh what do you call it have high status high like a lot of power a lot of uh money they're rich those students those snobby students as we saw you know one one such example is that guy moriyama i think that was his name i can't remember his name anyways but yeah that guy you know like students like them they they made up their own reason for that and they were like you know what you guys don't have any emblems you guys don't get practical lessons you know why because we're better than you no yeah that's why we are the blooms and you are the weeds and i i always thought about this like you know i i was always thought that why the hell did a student a school body suddenly make these type of this type of distinction where they like you know what they referred to a, a group of students as blooms and a group of students as weed like it's, it's like one of the biggest insult insulting way you can like distinguish them like you know blooms like you know blooming flower and weeds weeds the weeds we see like you know it, it, it's, it's as if like they're insulting them so i always thought that why the hell did a school make such make a, a distinction like this in this way now i i probably think that this is something that the students made up most probably and it kind of started becoming like a thing you know like uh, like you know because like people like talked about it like maybe there was some like uh, i don't know it's like some pompous 
uh, rich brat who suddenly one day said that, you know what, because we have this emblem, yeah, we are blooms. And because you don't have any emblem, you are the weeds. And from that pompous brat, probably it started like, you know, uh, like expanding and people started talking about it. And then this whole distinction st thing started where the school probably had no hand in it. But in a way, that's also kind of irresponsible for the school authorities as well. Like, why didn't you stop your students to do that, for, for doing that? You know, like, what the hell? Like, what are the teachers doing? What is the administration body doing? They're like sitting down and they're like, you know what? Yeah, this is happening. Let this continue. Like, why should we do anything about it? Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure there are more explanations about this. And there's probably some more reasoning about this. But this whole system always kind of made me wonder, like, why even like make a distinction system like this? And it kind of answered my question here. Cycles answered my question here. But there's still a few questions left, you know, like, why did the teachers allow this in the first place? All that stuff. But probably it also has some other reasons. I'm not sure about. But yeah, this the biggest mystery is answered here. This is not a distinction system made by the school. This is just made by the students, the rich, pompous, like, you know, what can I say? Those, those students, those type of students. And yeah, that's it. That probably stuck around and like people started, you know, making this distinction from then onwards. And now it, it's something like this. And I doubt people even know the reason, you know, like I, I doubt like if you ask most of the students here, they probably won't be able to tell like why this distinction came into uh, like, you know, uh, came in the first place was even just like, you know, the, the, the two uh, Watanabe and uh, the other girl, they did not know. I don't know if Watanabe knew it, but at least the other girl did not know. So yeah, that kind of shows it that half of the pe people, not even half, I think majority of the students don't even know the reason why this whole distinction is here and no and i guess yeah nobody even told them and if if they actually try to tell them now it will be a full-on chaos you know the weeds will get angry and it will be a full chaos so that's why you know like cycles are probably also did not um, like, you know announce that yeah this is the actual thing there's no blooms no weeds no discontinction there's just something that someone made up and it stuck around probably that's why she's not saying anything because it will be full-on chaos and we saw what happened in, in the first arc, you know, in the Blanche arc, how the weeds started, you know, protesting and all the huge commotion happened. So, yeah, it'll, it'll probably be something like that or even more. So that's why they are not saying anything. And they're trying to end this thing from the within, from within in a different way. But yeah, and as Saigusa said that don't tell Miyuki about this. If she gets to know somehow, like, yeah, this is the reason that her Onisama is in the weeds and people are like you know, discriminating him and like you know insulting him because of this oh my god yeah the the whole school will probably be frozen by the next day <laughs> so yeah that's that's one of the shocking things i've heard i, I don't think they mentioned this in red thoughts they did they it, if they did I, I probably would have remembered it's just such a shocking yeah it's such a shocking information I don't think they mentioned this. Boy, who knew that this type of a reason, it, it had this type of a reasoning, weird reasoning behind the whole distinction system. But yeah, anyways. Okay, that was that. And then, like, you know, the whole, like, in you know, the dance scene between Tatsuya and Miyuki, that we already, like, we kind of saw in Red Tose as well. And they ended it with that. <laughs> and then in the afterwards section, you know, the epilogue scene we see the other girl coming in i completely forgot her name i feel as if her name is alice but it's probably not uh let me just check the blonde haired girl who comes i completely forgot her name angelina okay yeah angelina i remember it so yeah so Angelina comes in and uh, yeah, so they, they kind of skipped the next portion, I'm guessing, you know, the, the next arc, the whole, uh, you know, where Tasuya shows, <laughs> shows his power, that, that section, because, most probably because it is mainly focused on Tasuya. So it's going to skip that and probably continue with 
the whole season two plot where Angelina comes in. So yeah, that was it, guys. So okay, one thing. Um, the new. I'm not sure if this is an anime or if this is a movie, but it's going to come out in January 2022. So this is Mauka Kokono says Suyoku Hen or the reminiscence arc. I think this is probably going to be a movie or uh like ova kind of thing you know with like two or three like three or five episodes something like that it's going to be and this is a prequel to retose which probably means we're going to see that the section they kind of showed us like you know where muki gets shot we never know what happened and how did muki get so uh you know affectionate with her brother because as far as i can remember he kind of said that muki did not like her brother or something like that so why did this happen the reason you know it's probably going to show us that in the reminiscence arc so yeah that's that's for january 2022 i guess so yeah so that's it guys that was this uh episode this is the final episode of mauka coco no yuto say so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll definitely check them out so yeah that's it guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with oh no this is over <laughs> i was going to say I'll, I'll see you guys next week with another episode so yeah uh the anime that will uh replace this i'm and probably make a community post later on uh telling everyone what animals i'm going to react to this upcoming season so yeah I'll, i have four or five uh animals and I, that I will react to. I, I'm kind of still deciding. So, yeah, I'll like you know you'll, you'll see that in the community post. So that's it, guys. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys with another video. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.